This is an example of a mass volume conversion problem in stoichiometry. If you read example one, it states how many liters of ammonia will be produced from 10 grams of hydrogen. Now, the reason we know it's a mass volume problem is because if you look at what is given, the label is 10 grams, which is the mass part, and it's asking you to find liters, which is the volume part. And as in any stoichiometry problem, the very first thing you need to do is write a balanced chemical reaction. So if you look at the problem again, it says how many liters of ammonia will be produced. That means ammonia, which is NH3, is a product. And we're producing ammonia from the elements hydrogen and nitrogen, both of which are diatomic molecules. Now, the next step in doing this problem is to balance this equation. So you'll need to put a 2 in front of the NH3 and a 3 in front of the H2. Now, as in the other stoichiometry problems we've done, we always want to identify what we know and what we are trying to find. So we know we have 10 grams of hydrogen. So under the hydrogen in the problem, I'm going to write my 10 grams because that's what we know. And I want to know how many liters of ammonia will be produced. So I'm going to put my question mark with my liters. Now, as in mass mass problems, you can't do this conversion directly. You have to convert your given to moles first. So we will go from grams of hydrogen to moles of hydrogen. Then we will compare moles of hydrogen to moles of ammonia. And lastly, turn that into liters of ammonia. Following the math, that the path has outlined, we'd start with 10.0 grams of H2. And we would convert that to moles by putting moles of H2 on the top, grams of H2 on the bottom, and looking at our ratios. We know that when grams and moles are in the same conversion factor, we always put a 1 here. And we look at the periodic table to figure out the mass of a hydrogen atom. Since it's 1.01, .01, when we have two of them, it will be 2.02. The next step, once we have moles of hydrogen, is to convert that to moles of NH3. So we put moles of NH3 on the top over moles of H2 on the bottom. This is your mole ratio step. And in the mole ratio step, the numbers that go by the moles are the coefficients out in front. So in front of NH3, we put a 2. In front of H2, we put a 3, because that's the coefficient. Our last conversion factor will go moles of NH3. We're going to get rid of that one in the bottom here, and then put liters of NH3 at the top. And we know that one mole always has 22.4 liters of a gas, as long as it's at STP, which we're going to assume that this is. Okay. When you do the cancellation, if you look back at your labels, grams of H2 cancel, moles of H2 cancel, and so do moles of NH3. So now it's just a matter of doing the math. And when you look at that and you put it into your calculator with three significant digits, you should have 73.9 liters of NH3 as your final answer. This was an example where the given was in grams and what you were trying to find was in liters. However, you can also do problems where the opposite is asked, where the given is in liters and what you're trying to find is in grams. So using the same equation, if you read this problem, how many grams of nitrogen are needed to react completely with 5.5 liters of hydrogen in forming ammonia, we know we're going to use the exact same chemical reaction that we had before. So we are taking hydrogen plus nitrogen to make ammonia, and we know we need a 3 here and a 2 there. This time, if we write our given information, I want to know how many grams of nitrogen from 5.5 liters of hydrogen. Okay, I'm going to start with my liters and convert that to moles first. So liters of hydrogen to moles of hydrogen then moles of hydrogen to moles of nitrogen, and lastly, moles to grams. When you write the conversion out, you have 5.5 liters of H2, 
and we want to convert that to moles of H2. We have to put liters on the bottom to cancel that out. We know that for every one mole of hydrogen, there are 22.4 liters of hydrogen gas. The next step is to go from moles of hydrogen to moles of nitrogen. And in this case, the coefficients are what we use to put in front of these numbers. So the coefficient in front of nitrogen is an understood one. The coefficient in front of hydrogen is a three. The last step is to convert from moles of nitrogen to grams of nitrogen. Whenever you have a mole and gram in the same conversion factor, the one always goes by the mole. Nitrogen weighs 14.01. To have two of them would be 28.02. When you do the cancellation of the labels, liters of hydrogen drop, moles of hydrogen drop, moles of nitrogen drop, and you're left with an answer. Now this time when you crunch the numbers in the calculator, you can only report your answer to two significant digits. So this one would be 2.3 grams of nitrogen. So what we've just shown you are two different examples of mass volume problems, and hopefully that gets you started.